Hi, my name is Celia Dowson and I am an artist based in London. I trained um, in ceramics during my BA at Central St Martins in 2014 I graduated and then I went on to do my MA at the Royal College of Art in 2018. I suppose I've had time since I graduated to really begin to develop a way of working and develop a routine so I work with both cast glass and ceramics and I suppose there's quite an equal uh, proportion of, of glass to ceramics that I make. I tend to always work with porcelain. The porcelain really allows for a whiteness um, that that the colour then can really pop on, uh, all the textures can really pop on and then that merging when I begin to sort of marble play together, um, it really works well as a base colour. What's also really important and one of the reasons I love working with the Jigger Jolly, which is that tool that just spins and spins as you make the work, is that there's no beginning or end to a pot. You don't have a line of separation, it just continues to move and the colours continue to blend and the movement goes through the whole piece. It's not just on the surface, it's if this pot breaks in half, you'll see how colour moves through the whole um, depths of the, the piece. And I look at, you know, when I look at nature, it's the same thing, it just continues to go on. The Queen Elizabeth Scholarship Trust have been a really incredible quest. I was, um, I was given a scholarship by them in 2018, and it's the Tom Helm Scholarship. So he personally sort of chose to help me develop through the RCA, through my second year there, through uh, sort of funding, funding materials and funding my, uh, my education fees, which was really, really amazing. I think he was particularly interested in how uh, I was working within a, a design context as well as a, as a fine art. Well, the collaboration with John Smedley has been really exciting. I'm using kind of really vibrant colours in a new way. So it's brought a lot more vibrancy into the work that I make. And it's quite exciting to see that emerge in, in the pieces I'm making, because it's not something that I've used really before. They've always been sort of, I've used kind of muted tones and um, there's a real expression in, in them coming. And actually it makes it very vivid how you begin to see the, the change in colour, especially in the blues that I've been using. Overall, the, uh, the way that I've interpreted joyful expression has been about thinking about not only the expression of the way that I make, um, but seeing how play is expressive, the ideas and the way that we see nature is expressive, but that also colours are expressive. When someone says John Smedley, I think of quality more than anything. I'm aware of um, how the clothes are made with the care and attentiveness um, and with real specialism to the craft. I'm really conscientious about the way I make things um, and I'm, I want things to be made well. You know, I care about the finish and I care about the quality and the refinement. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm aware of that being something that's really important to John Smedley as well.